Thank you for your interest in the AGMS Gateway QuickBooks plugin. I'm going to take a moment to quickly show you how this works. So the first thing we're assuming is that invoices have already been created and you're already using QuickBooks so your customers will exist, your vendors will exist, your invoices will exist. Um, in order to do this I've created a, a customer and we're going to come to the customers and we're going to accept payment. You've got the option to process payment. This is for when you key enter the card or swipe payment if you've chosen to purchase a, a swiper and the person is there with their card and you're able to swipe their card. I'm going to show both options. We'll start with process payment. So I'm going to select process payment and then the AGMS Gateway QuickBooks plugin pops up and here you've got a bunch of options. <clears throat> Top right I want to direct your attention. You can apply to customers open invoices a specific invoice, create a new sales receipt, and or apply to existing sales receipts. Additionally, these radio boxes here uh, allow you to update existing QuickBooks customers. Uh, we'll, we'll describe some of that a little bit a little bit later. Um, you'll notice that here, if I select a customer, in this case, I've only created one, computers, etc., and I say apply to their open invoices, it already identifies this customer has $42 of open invoices. If I select apply to specific invoice, notice it changes, it recalculates and it now notices, oh, okay, well which invoice do you want? Invoice 3 or invoice 4? And If I select 4, it pulls its amount, 3 it pulls its amount. So you can see you can apply to the open all everything or just specific things. And things here do change based on what you select here. You originally won't see this uh, section right here where it says you've previously billed this client. We've enabled what's called the customer safe and this, this allows for rebilling. It takes the card information that the customer um, presents to you and it saves it in a PCI compliant, very secure way on the gateway and allows you to use that same information at a later date. And you notice you can't tell uh, any of the card information except for the last four of the, the account. You could also pull all this up on the gateway um, in in your customer safe if you choose to use that. But in this case, we're going to unselect that, and this is what you would usually see. Uh, so here you're going to select your payment method. So in this case, I'm going to do a Visa card, and then we're going to enter the card number information. We're going to say and CVV. I'm applying this to invoice 3 and notice I can edit the billing information or the shipping information, phone number, email, I can change different account numbers. If I change that but I don't select one of these uh, radio buttons here to say update existing QuickBooks customer or update their QuickBooks credit card information, it won't update it um, so make sure if you're wanting to actually update it, you have that opportunity to here. And then I'm going to hit process and close. Or if I wanted to go straight into a new one, I could do process and new. Notice here it says transaction successful. Details are shown below and it gives you the details. You don't need to record any of these because in your next screen that usually pops up with QuickBooks is your receive payment in the which you notice it's already passed through the information that you did. So you can see I've received other, other payments. Here's open invoices. This is the payment we just received. I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and close. And now I'm going to go and we're going to do a swipe. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to AGMS, swipe payment. This is going to pull up our QuickBooks module. I'm going to apply to open invoices. I'm going to pull up the customer, etc. Now right now they only have what's left, which is invoice number four and it's seventeen dollars so we know that that's its open open amount or if, again I could always select apply to a specific invoice it's gonna pull up that customer relook it and say oh, okay and notice it only it sees that they only have one invoice left now you'll select into the track data and you can't see this on your screen but I have a a magtech card reader attached with a specific encryption and security settings I'm swiping all right, we'll select the payment method and the CVV on this. And now again, I could edit the billing information, the shipping information, other things, and process and close. 
Transaction successful, details shown below. Then I comes right through to my customer payment, save and close. Now, please do realize this demo was performed using QuickBooks Pro 2009. The, the QuickBooks plugin is compatible with all versions, Windows 2000, or QuickBooks 2007 Pro. Let me actually click. It's compatible with Pro, Premier, Enterprise, and Accountant 2007 and above. It is not compatible with Simple Start, Essentials, Plus, or Online. Mac versions of the of QuickBooks or QuickBooks point of sale. And with that, thank you for for your time. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Our number is 866-951-2467 or contact your local representative. Thank you.